Aurora Cannabis ACB stock has shot up over the past two days. What happened? Fact is, these stocks in the United States are shifting and moving up higher in a big way. ACB stock has paused a little bit. Didn't do any kind of movement whatsoever. As a matter of fact, I think I might have even seen it go lower. So why all of a sudden did this happen? There's been a shift in uh, Aurora Cannabis and it's very positive over the long term. I believe Aurora Cannabis may be cleaning up its books, getting ready to be taken over. Let me break down some of the charts, have you take a look at what I'm looking at, and show you why I think ACB stock may be a good buy if you can buy it on another dip because they're probably going to get acquired in an M&A deal. Let's jump in. Here's a look at the one hour ACB stock. And as you can see, uh, August 30th, I think it was. Yeah, it was Wednesday, August 30th. That's when the news announcement in the United States where HHS has recommended to the DEA that cannabis be rescheduled from Schedule 1, which is highly addictive, zero medical value, illegal on a federal basis. They came back and said, let's reschedule it as a recommendation on Schedule 3. DEA is looking at it and they've got 71 days to respond to this recommendation. Let me give you a little hint. There were three people in the room. The, uh, director of HHS, Director of DEA, that's Ann Milgram, Becerra was the first, and then President Biden, who was conducting the interview or the meeting and basically saying, this is what we're going to do. I've got an election here in about two years. I want to show that I've done something. This is done. Put the paperwork together, make it happen. So things have been flying in the United States. Take a look at MSOS stock. But if you look really hard right here, the just before um, September switch, August 30th, 31, ACB stock has barely moved. And in fact, it almost came all the way back down to its pre-market level. It did pop up just a little bit. It was a yawn. I actually expected a lot more simply because a lot of people couldn't get involved in US MSO stock, so they would have traded Canadian. But what ACB did, Aurora Cannabis, is they paid off some debt. This is convertible debt. That convertible debt, should uh, Aurora have to, or allow that to have been converted, would have diluted shareholders. And in fact, at one point, they were sitting on about 350 million in convertible debt. They're down to about 40 million. And by cleaning up these books, it looks as if Aurora could eventually continually pay off that convertible debt, kind of getting rid of that sort of hang up headache that they have lingering over them. It's not a huge deal. Companies are raising money and uh, because they're not there yet with profitability. So raising capital and having convertible uh, debt is a something that they, it's a tool, something that they use. And as a shareholder, yeah, you'd sure don't want that convertible to show up. So paying it off for a company helps out the shareholders. And as we can see, ACB stock shot up from, uh, it was about 45 cents all the way up, well over to a buck 50, so 70 cents almost 200% in just two days. I looked at this and I said, number one, they're cleaning up their books. They're continually cleaning up their books. They're continually moving into a more positive place. There's going to be tons of M&A activity. With the United States making its shift, any US MSO who could help Aurora get to where it wants to get to could potentially merge we will see tons of M&A activity. It's one way where you get companies who just have not yet accomplished their goal of net earnings profitability. They can merge with another company, slash costs, and all of a sudden the bottom line looks richer with two co companies combining into one. We saw this with Tilray and Afria. They promised us $80 million in cost savings and have delivered well over $100 million in a short period of time. Aurora is doing everything they can to slash costs. So this makes sense. Is it going to happen? There's a good chance. 
And that's about as best I can come up with. But we will definitely see M&A activity. And with the shift in the U.S., Aurora is continually cleaning up its books, and maybe they are getting ready to sell themselves. Maybe. But if we look at the rest of the company, um, here's their revenue. When you look at this right here, you see that they're starting to really pick up from a period going back, what, four years, almost five years, where there was zero growth in revenue whatsoever. They finally peaked and may continue that moving forward. Gross margins. Gross margins are a little light. They'll need to push these gross margins by at least another 10 fit just to get to normal from within the company or within the industry. Uh, cannabis in general, they're hitting about 45% gross margins. Um, EBITDA, for the first time, Aurora hit near break even EBITDA and we're looking to see them go positive. Aurora also states that they're going to hit uh, free cash flow positive next year, 2024. Free cash flow, um, best way to define that is OPEX, operation expenses, less what's after uh, the cash remaining after OPEX, less CAPEX. So you're basically, it's a metric. It's interesting. At the end of the day, though, being free cash flow positive is good. Being EBITDA profitable and net earnings profitable would be a better metric that I would want to see. But they're holding on to something there. And it, it could be positive. I don't see a whole lot more growth per se in, in, in a huge expansionary sense up in Canada. Canada has limitations. 50% of the population lives in a small area of Canada and you can only do so much in that area. And I think there's enough companies out there duking it out that we're probably seeing close to a saturation level up there. We are seeing something like 1.5 trillion excess grams inside the country of Canada. You're not going to see too much more growth with new facilities. Uh, net earnings, they're getting closer and closer. Bottom line, free cash flow positive, cool. Net earnings positive, now we're talking. But they're getting close. If they continue higher with their re revenues, then all of a sudden cleaning up their books simultaneously, getting to a point where their net earnings positive, they're just generally speaking moving in the right direction. But this is the one that really kind of sets this company apart where you can see ACB, um, you know, back in 2018, I remember I started writing when I was contributing to Seeking Alpha and this industry was just starting out. I started kind of realizing, wow, Aurora is making a lot of possi uh, production possibilities. So is Canada, uh, can Canopy Growth. So is Afria and Tilray. You started seeing these ginormous production facilities. There's only 35 million people in Canada. And as you can see, it caught up to these companies. Aurora has had to shutter and sh sell off properties, a lot of them. Too many companies were just thinking they were going to carpet the whole country. There's still 1.5 trillion excess grams in Canada right now. There, it's just too much supply. That's what's happened with Aurora. Now, from a projection standpoint, looking at 24, 25, and 26, their revenue projections are looking pretty solid. If you can factor in that they're um, paying off their convertible loans, their share count will remain consistent. So should they start to flip to EBITDA profitability and then eventually net earnings profitability, it's divided that net earnings is divided under far less potential shares outstanding because those convertible notes are paid off. They're not going to be able, those debt holders are not going to be able to convert that debt into shares, which is why that stock shot up as much as it did. So when we look at these revenue projections and you start seeing that Aurora is pushing EBITDA profitable and could push much higher there, 
if they can continually clean up their books, clean up their uh, liabilities and pay less and less in debt, they'll get closer and closer to net earnings positive. Then should a US MSO want to merge with Aurora, the terms would be pretty sweet for an ACB stock shareholder. Uh, finally, one more perspective. This is the weekly chart going all the way back quite some time. And as you can see, Aurora had much better days a long time ago, the ACB stock. Um, given that, the corners that they are turning, when you look at this share price, when you sit there and say it's less than a buck, which uh, since they traded above a buck, I think helps them out with NASDAQ. I think they have to close above the buck. I don't know exactly what the one minor detail is, but they have traded above a dollar. They closed today less than a dollar. If they can close above one dollar, I think that really helps them out. And I think there has to be like several days consecutive. Regardless, this is a company that is turning the corner. And I have mentioned that several times. I haven't really focused on the convertible notes so much because it really wouldn't matter if they're still printing negative numbers. But getting to EBIT to profitable and really pushing that plus, and as you look at future revenue growth, if they have less convertible debt down to zero, if they can pay all that off, and that revenue growth, they can push their gross margins, maybe hitting up to 45%, just getting to normal for the industry, that extra 10% would really trickle down nicely to the bottom line. They're real close to break even. You start converting that kind of uh, growth in revenue with better margins and less shareholders. Now you know why ACB st stock shot up. Would I be buying this one? Right now today I'm focused on so many other things and it's all US, US, US. Could I see ACB stock going much higher for some period of time? Obviously, the uh, U.S. shift didn't play out with Canadian stocks much at all. Canopy growth of all companies, we are seeing some shift upward in that because they have so much assets in the United States. And as those assets increase in valuation, that would affect the book value for Canopy growth. That didn't affect Aurora at all. But I could see how this stock over the course of several years will continually move higher. We might have seen the absolute low for ACB stock. From here, might trickle up slowly and slowly and slowly. Will we print 150 again? That's uh, probably not for a long, long time. That was a lot of hype. Didn't really play out. Nonetheless, there's tons of things going on within the industry right now. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. Thanks for the great comments. You want to keep up. I'm pushing out as much content as I can, trying to get all that content out there. I'm well aware that no one covers nearly the numbers of uh, companies that I do. I've got another company I want to, I'm going to put up on today, INCR Intercure. It's a profitable company out of Israel. No one's paying attention. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. We'll see you in the next video.